What up guys, Fojo here, and today I'm coming to you with a little bit different of a video about weapons and what's the best ones to use right now. This first one's going to be over the Great Axe and what some of the best Great Axe drops are and some of the best ones you can make right now. And just kind of where to find them and how to get these, just so you have an idea of where to go and what you need to do. Now I want to say right off the bat that these may not be best in slot because you may be able to make one or buy one that is best in slot. And... If you're a tank or a different class, it may vary. But if you're a tank or if you are a bruiser, it's going to vary which weapon you want more. Some axes will be better with tank builds and some will be better with bruiser builds. So in this, I try and hit a little bit of both, but these are mostly just in general good great ox drops that you can get and or make. But real quick, if you guys could like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment about what do you think the best in-slot great axe is right now and why it is. Or if I missed one that you use and you like a lot, let me know in the comments. Our first axe I'm going to go over is the Weapon Master's Chosen, but Weapon Master's Chosen can be found in Lazarus Dungeon, and you have to kill Scylla to get it, the Snake Lady boss. At this point, Laz isn't too tough to beat. Just go through there with some friends. And so Weapon Master's Chosen has... 30 strength on it, and it also has Mending Execute, and you get 17% of your health back on a kill with Execute, and it also has Vicious, 11% critical damage, and it also has Keen, which is plus 11% critical chance. And now the next act is going to be Vision of Viciousness. For Vision of Viciousness, you are going to have to defeat Isabella in Tempest Dungeon to get her to possibly drop this for you. And it has 30 strength on it as well. Trenchant hits, which are fully charged heavy attacks, deal 19% additional crit damage. And Shirking Flames, dodging through an enemy attack, causes your next hit within 5 seconds to deal an additional 19% base damage as fire. And it also has Vicious plus 11% critical damage. Now after that, we're going to go to Black Guard's Great Axe, which also has 30 strength, Trenchant Recovery, which is fully charged heavy attacks, heal the player for 28% of the damage dealt, Keen, plus 11% critical chance, and Keenly Fortified on critical gain, 10% fortified for 3 seconds. And then now on the Black Guard's Great Axe, you're going to have to fight Ekeke in Tempest, which is the first mini boss I believe you get to. Uh, he's the tall guy with the club that jumps around a lot. And for our next Great Axe, it's going to be Inner Peace. And for Inner Peace, you're going to have to go to Dynasty Shipyard and go to the dungeon there. And Inner Peace, you'll have to do it on a mutation to get it to be a legendary. But when it hits legendary, it will be 30 strength. You'll have life stealing, which is 5%. You gain 5% of your damage as health. Does not trigger off persistent damage or DOT effects. Refreshing reduces your max cooldowns by 2.8%. And Vicious plus 11% critical damage. And now in here, it looks like you can get this from multiple mobs in here. It doesn't matter who you kill. But as long as you kill them on a mutation, you have the possibility to get this as a drop, which is really nice. And now next, we have the Insatiable Great Axe. And this one comes with 10 Constitution and 20 Strength, so it's not a purely Constitution or Strength build. But it also has Refreshing, reduces max cooldowns by 2.8%. It has Insatiable Gravity Well on it as well. Gain 50% of your damage with Gravity Well back as health and cast another burst around you on successful hit that deals 125% weapon damage. And thirdly, it has Sturdy. You take 9.6% less stamina damage while blocking. So this might not be a bad tank pickup and not a bad secondary for a tank to use. But this does drop from Raffle Bones, so if you want this axe, you're going to have to do a lot of hunting and try and get it from him. It may take you quite a while to do this. Raffle Bones will not drop you exactly what you want, but he does now only drop legendaries, so you do have a better shot at it now than you did before. After that, we have the Blight Bone Battle Axe. This one has 30 strength again. It also does Angry Earth Bane, plus 14% damage to Angry Earth. Keenly Jagged on crit cause bleed that deals 7% weapon damage per second for 6 seconds. And Keen, plus 11% critical chance. So on this, this one isn't the best one, but it is nice when you're fighting Angry Earth. And I wanted to add it in as kind of a secondary axe that you could use specifically for Angry Earth. Now the next one will be Dark Sky, and this one is one that you can build yourself if you have 200 weapon smithing and you decide you want to make one. Dark Sky is 30 strength, it has Fortifying Whirlwind, Whirlwind hits Grant, Fortify on self, increasing damage absorption by 10% for 2 seconds. Keenly Fortified on critical gain, 10% Fortify for 3 seconds. And Enchanted, Light and Heavy Attacks deal 9.6% more damage. So this one's great if you have the ability to craft it, but... Otherwise, you may not find this super useful. And as a bonus, I wanted to kind of add one in here for luck. So if you wanted to find an axe that was good for luck, also not terrible to use 
the rest of the time. I'm editing Kingslayer, which is also a Raffle Bones drop. So again, Raffle Bones is tough to get to and hard to kill repeatedly, so Kingslayer would be a stretch if you could get to it. But if you happen to see it up on the market and able to grab it for not too bad of a price, not a bad pickup. It has 10 strength and 20 dexterity, but it also has Lost Bane, damage to loss, plus 14%. Luck, 2.8% chance at rare items from chests and monsters, and refreshing reduces max cooldowns by 2.8%. So, not a bad pickup. If you wanted to use an axe for a chest run or whatever you wanted to do, and it'll still be decent while you're using it as well. So, on all these axes, I do think that these are all great weapons to use and good options for right now. The Tempest Dungeon definitely added multiple new weapons that are very viable, if not better in slot weapons than there were before. So Tempest would be a great place to start if you want to get one of the better in slot weapons right now. I will say that all the ones that do drop out of Tempest are really good and would be very useful for lots of reasons. But I also wanted to say if I did miss your favorite Great Axe, please leave it in the comments and let me know. I wouldn't say that these are the best in slot weapons. A lot of these are very good. You can really get a better weapon that is crafted or dropped by a mob randomly. But a lot of these are really good options and will get you the damage you need to get through just about anything in the game. Now with all the d updates that came through, I wanted to make a video with kind of the better in slot weapons and what's useful right now, what's the best to use, kind of give my two cents on that. Now some of these are very difficult to get because of raffle bones, but most of them are very doable if you are at 60 and have a decent expertise. You just have to run multiple dungeons multiple times and get these from those people. But I just wanted to make this, try and help out people that have either been away from New World or are coming back and weren't sure if there were a lot of updates to the game as far as weapons go. And I'll be making episodes like this for each weapon and maybe even go into some amulets and armor and stuff like that in the future. Let me know if there's something you want included in an upcoming weapon video or armor video that you think it needs to be there. And I'll include it in the list. The way I cover all the weapons I need to cover and make sure they get into the list. But if you guys could please like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would mean a lot to me. I really appreciate that. Also leave a comment about what great X do you use, what do you think is the best in slot right now, and did I miss your favorite great X, the one you use that, that you can't live without, please drop it in the comments. But thank you guys so much for being here. We'll have more videos out soon. I hope to see you there.